Today is basically part of our enrollment campaign. We are making sure that our students, our parents, families know about our back to school parade and rally. Today we basically dress the spirit of Detroit and then I'm in shirt as you see in the background. He's in, everybody's in DPS. We're excited because on Saturday, August 27th at 11 o'clock a.m., we're going to have a huge back to school parade rally. Starting at Grand Circus Park, going all the way to Hart Plaza. We're glad that you're involved, and I'm, my name is Tyrone Winfrey, Detroit Board of Education President. I'm in DPS. Go DPS. Go Detroit Public School. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm George Olivierhead. It's my pleasure to be with you this morning. And before we get started, I just want to take a minute to point out the beautiful spirit of Detroit wearing that DPS blue. Isn't that great? Let's get a hand. Wonderful, wonderful. And on behalf of the Detroit Public Schools, the financial manager, Roy Roberts, the DPS students, parents, teachers, administrators, and staff, I just want to thank the Detroit Wayne Joint Building Authority for again letting us dress this wonderful spirit. He looks so good in his iconic blue. Thank you so much. It means the world to us. It's a windy day, so bear with me here. I also would like to acknowledge several other special guests before we get moving. You may have noticed that Curious George has joined us today. That fun-looking character for the front of Children's Book. Hi, Curious George. And we have Mr. Allen's Shoes and Sportswear mascot. Where is that kid? There you go. And speaking of kids, the Parade Company's famous paper mache bag collection has loaned us today a real print on a Diana Ross. Now just where would you be able to see Curious George, those singing icons, and Mr. Allen's head all in one show? So thank you guys for joining us today. This year's Detroit Public Schools expanded 2011-12 Back to School Enrollment Campaign is more exciting than ever. To give you an overview of this year's effort, I'd like to introduce Donald Walker. Donald is the project manager for this year's campaign. Donald? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Pop quiz time, but I, I know how we hate pop quizzes, so I'm going to give you the answer to the quiz right now. And the answer is, I'm in. Everybody understand? And here's the question. Are you in? I am in. You're automatically going down a grade. That doesn't sound very exciting. Let's try it again. Let's get an A now. Are you in? I am in. Are you in? I am in. Are you in? I am in. All right. This year's celebration of enrollment and education will feature our parade being bigger and better than years before. We're going to have 40 parade units, including our newly restored all-city marching band, our PSL athletic bus, which you can see right here. Of course, the enrollment van will be a part of the parade. We'll feature many floats, including the bookworm, which will feature our reading corps, and so much, so much more. The rally itself will feature co-host Vicki Winans, who will be in the parade as our grand marshal, and also co-host from Hot 102.7, Shorty the Prince. Ms. Winans will be performing at our rally this year, along with Radio One featured artist John Brown. We'll feature some local acts as well, We'll have speakers like Mayor Bing and DPS Emergency, Emergency Manager Roy Roberts. The rally will end with something very, very special, and you heard a little taste of it just before we came up. And that will be a special performance by Detroit Public School students. Let me stress that. Detroit Public School students will be performing the new DPS I'm In theme song called I'm In DPS. The song features Detroit School of Arts senior Betty Pride, who was an NAACP AXO gold winner in music competition. She also plays nine instruments, carries a 3.0 at Detroit School of Arts. She produced, performed, wrote, sang, did everything with respect to the song. She's going to be joined on stage by her fellow Detroit School of Arts students, Andre Brinkley on drums, Jabari Reynolds on bass, a DSA administrator, Pat Moore, who plays the violin, and a very special guest will be performing with Miss Pride, her father, Larry Pride, who will be playing saxophone. Talk about parent involvement there. Everybody in the DPS family is celebrating DPS. Are you in? I'm in. Are you in? I'm in. 
The Education and Enrollment Expo will also feature free immunizations, on-site enrollment, backpack giveaways, free uniform giveaways, parent workshops, We'll have reps from every DPS school there to provide questions, uh, answers excuse me, to any of the questions of our parents along the way. We'll also have representatives from all the DPS departments to provide answers to any questions parents may have about enrollment and any of the other services provided. We're going to feature a DPS student stage, which will feature numerous Detroit Public School students performing and sharing their talents with the city. Keep in mind, Along with everything that's going to be a part of this entire parade, rally, and expo, the campaign is really about all of the wonderful offerings found in Detroit Public Schools. Just a few. Ten new state-of-the-art school buildings or major renovations opening up this fall. Extended time in reading and math instruction for elementary school students. Five new DPS authorized charter schools led by educators with proven track records of raising achievement. A reading core tutor for all pre-K students who need one. We've got business partners who are supporting and mentoring our kids across the district and so many other things. If you need to know more about it, please go to the website, DetroitK12.org. Now, last point. None of these great offerings will be as impactful as they could be if we don't have our kids in school on the first day. On the first day. In school all day and in school every day. First day all day, every day. That is the key message being pushed by everybody within the Detroit Public School District. Now, please welcome Detroit Board of Education President Tyrone Winfrey, who along with Mr. Roy Roberts, the rest of the school board, union leadership, principals, central office, everyone, all of them working together for a successful school start that will be on time this year. Mr. Winfrey. Come on, let's clap it up for DPS. Come on, let's clap it up. Come on, clap it up. I want you to say, I'm in, I'm in. DPS. DPS. We're, in We're in DPS. DPS. Come on, clap it up again for DPS, Detroit Public Schools. On behalf of the Detroit Board of Education, it's an honor to stand before you today as we stand before this great seal, I mean this great statue for the city of Detroit the spirit of Detroit. I'm also reminded as I stand here back in 1701, just a few yards from here, Antoine Deliamoth Cadillac sailed up to Detroit River and founded our city right by Hart Plaza. I'm also reminded of the seal of the Detroit Public Schools that was developed back in 1842, and there is a depiction of a teacher holding a child's hand and pointing that child to the stars. We are going to point our students to the stars this year. A famous football coach once said, winning is an attitude and losing is an attitude. We have a winning attitude in Detroit Public Schools. Teachers that are winning, students that are winning, parents that are winning, administrators that are winning. Go over to Mark Twain School and Academy on the southwest side where kindergartners greeted me in every of many foreign languages when I arrived one day. Go over to Davis Aerospace on the northeast side of Detroit where students are learning how to fly planes and learn about airplane mechanics and so forth. Go over to Moses Field in Detroit Day School for the Deaf where students with special needs are being helped every day to be successful in the Detroit Public Schools. Go over to the Detroit School of Arts where students are learning about dance performance and art history and things that will help them to be successful in the performing arts fields. Go to any of our Detroit public schools and you're going to see a winning attitude. This parade is a depiction of what we epitomize in Detroit public schools. It was developed three years ago. I want to thank Mr. Steve Wasco, Detroit Parade Company, for their great work with this parade. It was founded upon some principles we saw in other urban areas, particularly in the city of Chicago. But now our parade is bigger, is better, and better than any Detroit back-to-school parade and rally that has ever been. I want to also echo the sentiments of Mr. Donald Walker. We want all our students to be in school on the first day of school, the first day, every day. Everybody say first day. First day. Every day. Every day. Just like when you go to work. You got to be there first day and every day. Thank you. I'm in DPS, Detroit Board of Education, Detroit Public Schools. Go DPS. Thank you. This Saturday, our parade starts at 11 a.m. 
11 a.m. down Woodward. And if you want more information, it's right in your mailbox. You should have received this year's blowing back to school newsletter. If you look on page 12 and 13, there's a map of the parade, there's information about what's at the expo, everything you need to know. But remember, Saturday, 11 a.m., right here on Woodward Avenue. There's some other people that you should know about as we talk about this back to school campaign. The wonderful Detroit area businesses that have helped put this together. This year, there was more than $175,000. Let me repeat that. $175,000 in cash and in-kind support for this year's enrollment campaign. So let's thank those sponsors. First, our presenting sponsor, Mr. Allen's Shoes and Sportswear. Other sponsors include Office Depot, Sodexo, Foreman Mills, Comcast, ABC Student Transportation, First Student and Safeway Transportation, the McDonald's family of East Southeastern Michigan, Radio One, and Houghton Mifid Hardcourt. Thank you so much. Can we have a hand for all of our sponsors? Again, the DPS Parade, Rally, and Education and Enrollment Expo is a one-stop opportunity to get your DPS student ready for or enrolled in school. Come downtown and join us. Watch that Woodward Parade. It's going to be something else. More than 40 units, 10 floats. Where do you see 10 floats? Then we're going over to the Hart Plaza for our rally. There you'll be entertained by Vicki Winans and R&B artist John Brown. Finally, at 1 o'clock, the DPS Education and Enrollment Expo will open. So why do you want to come to an expo? Because it's a great place to be. There'll be DPS enrollment stations, everything you need to know to enroll your student, and all the free stuff is amazing. Free on-site immunizations, thousands, thousands of free school uniforms. Now, if you're wondering what does that really mean, if you're a young person needs that new shirt and pair of pants, if you're a young man, or if your great looking daughter needs a new blouse or skirt, you don't wanna miss this opportunity. Free school uniforms, free backpacks, free school supplies, even free food, you can't beat it. You can spend the whole day with us on Saturday and make sure that when you're done, your student is ready for DPS. You can even take a photo with our friend here, the Spirit of Detroit, send it in to DPS, put it on their Facebook, and maybe even make it onto their website. So in closing, boy, in closing, Saturday, August 27th, the DPS Parade, Rally, Education, and Ex Enrollment Expo is your first step to ensuring that your DPS student is in school and ready to go the first day, every day, and all day this school year. Thank you so much for coming. DPS! <laughs>